Indians will begin contributing to the Social Health Insurance Fund in July 2024 and not the 1st of March 2024 as early announced by the Ministry of Health. Under the new insurance scheme, a household whose income is derived from salaried employment will pay a monthly statutory deduction of 2.75% of the gross salary. Stakeholders and the public had a chance to give their final views on the proposed set of Social Health Insurance Act 2023 draft regulations today. Among concerns raised was the issue of pending payments by the NHIF, as well as the return on investment for Kenyans had earned money. Lillian Muli has the details. The government is phasing out the 58-year-old National Health Insurance Fund NHIF, which has been dogged by corruption and fraud allegations with the Social Health Insurance Fund. This after recommendations made by the public and stakeholders are factored in. To incorporate comments from the feedback. In a national validation exercise on the draft regulations held at the KICC, the public and stakeholders were given a chance to input their views. It is critical that the money flows from contributors to share, to providers, to suppliers, because whenever that fails, as is the case now, then quality is compromised, access is compromised. Our private hospitals are currently suffering from the delayed payments of um, their claims from NHIF and would like to request the transition committee, the leadership of NHIF and SHA to fast track the reconciliation process and payment of the pending bills. Before a hospital is published by the tribunal, they should be given enough time and enough space to appeal because there is a provision to appeal in the High Court, and after the appeal is completed, that's when the hospital should be listed. Kenyans will now be mandated to contribute 2.75% of their gross salary to the SHIF. According to the Ministry of Health, the decision was arrived at after actuaries from both the Ministry of Health and NHIF did an analysis and found disparities in the amount paid by Kenyans. Those earning below 10,000 shillings were contributing 5%, while those earning a million bob were contributing 0.01%. This will essentially scrap the current maximum of 1,700 shillings contribution, exposing employed Kenyans to higher deductions. No contributions will be made for less than 300 shillings. Our aim as a ministry is to commence registration within the month of March. I think I can now move the target from first for you people to breathe. <laughs> but within the first week of March, we have to begin registration. From our regulations, from the Act, this will go on up to June. And thereafter, we intend to begin payments or contributions at the rate of 2.75% with a minimum of 300. And our hope then is that access to these benefits shall begin from the 1st of July. A household whose income is not derived from salaried employment shall pay an annual contribution to SHIF at a rate of 2.75% of the household income as determined by the means testing instrument. For those who will be contributing 300, but that one we are working a paper on it compared to the percentage we might end up paying more than we are, we are expected to pay. But that one chair and PS will be producing a very well detailed document on that one so that after implementation we don't invite or attract more complaints these contributions will allow Kenyans to access a benefits package which covers critical health services and inpatient and outpatient services. Kenyans will be able to access ICU and HDU services as well as inpatient services such as radiology and chemotherapy. Outpatient services will also include oncology services such as chemotherapy, radiotherapy and PET scans as well as mortuary fees. When you look at the benefit package, it was our opinion that can we have a medication management as a service? Because this is at the level that we are able to say, is my 1,000 patient justified to be taking 10 drugs each of them? 
The Ministry of Health emphasized on collaboration with county governments being of utmost significance for the success of the health sector. Madam CS, you have put a transition committee to be able to, uh, to take us from NHIF to SHI. That transition committee needs to be more inclusive. And I will not be wrong to say, Madam CS, that the county government is not represented in this committee. We are here to work together. There is no patient for county government and patient for national government. So whatever it takes for the national government to work with the county governments, that we shall do. All Kenyans above the age of 18 will be required to register biometrically with the Social Health Authority. Individuals will be expected to produce their national identification cards, whereas those below 18 years will produce birth certificates. All persons traveling to Kenya will be required to pay travel health insurance at the point of entry. Lillian Muli, Citizen TV.